Hello everyone, hope you are doing well. In this video, I am going to show you how you can map SharePoint site to the local or the user's devices by using create by using Intune policy. So from Intune, I am going to show you how you can create a configuration profile and how you can map a SharePoint site to the user's device so that users can directly access that SharePoint site and the data and content which is associated with that site. The more important part here is that why we wanted to do it, right? Uh, there would be a use cases when we wanted to map a SharePoint site to a respective group of users only, or maybe we wanted to map a SharePoint site to across the organization and all the people should be able to access a particular SharePoint site right and that is when this is going to be very handy as as we as an administrator or we as an it person we can do that from intune side so that end user doesn't have to do anything and they don't have to struggle from here and there and jump uh, to see how it works and they don't have to reach out to the respective team or maybe uh, someone from their team how they can access the data and all of that stuff right to avoid that juggling and jumping from here and there uh, there's a direct way which we can deploy it across the intune or from intune side across the organizations or basis on the user requirement or use case of the organization so let's jump on and i'll show you how we can create that and how we can deploy it all right so let's go i'm here at intune portal right and i'm creating or i'm going to create this policy now so click on devices then intune or windows not intune and then click on configuration so from here we will be creating a policy so which is configuration profile right and you see i have created a bunch of before so similarly i'm going to create one now and let's go ahead and click on create so from here we need to select windows 10 and later platform and from profile type here i'm going to select the settings catalog so the profile or the policy which is part of the mapping for the devices that is under the settings catalog so let's click on create and this is the profile creation window or stages here i'm going to give it a name uh, map sharepoint sharepoint site to the devices so I'm giving this a name so that it should have a meaningful name and we can also add some description here. So maybe if you are targeting it for a specific department or a specific group of people, then you can add a description here as well so that you know what this policy does and what it is going to do or what is the context for this. Right. So let's move to the next under configuration settings here. You see add settings option. And under add C settings, you have a bunch of options which are pre-built settings and configurations that we can use. But for now, I'm going to search for OneDrive and hit enter button. So here we see uh, OneDrive button there or the hyperlink we can see. And from there, I'm going to scroll down and find configure team site libraries to sync automatically on a user context right so i'm going to click on it so now once i click it is going to be added here at the left side if you see here and it is in disabled state it's by default and now i'm going to cross this out and i'm going to enable this one because we wanted to assign or add this particular site so now i'm going to simply give it a name here so name is going to be something like uh, let me put a name here. So let's say I wanted to add a site called this one. So I can give this name as well. So let's go back. So I'm just giving this name, right? And then I need to add a value of that site. So so now you might be wondering what that value is. So that value is going to be uh, 
SharePoint site library ID, right? And how we can get that? I'm going to show you that as well quickly here. So let's jump on it. Let me adjust this a bit here. Okay. So how we can get that? I have one commandlet as well. And how we can get that? So first, we need to go to SharePoint site here. So currently there is no data. Maybe we can just simply create one or two documents. So this is just a dummy document I'm going to create. And that should be here. I'll also create one or two folder. So we have some test data just for showing purpose, right? And then here's the sync button. From here, we can get the site ID and library ID. Right, click on it. Uh, we don't need to sync this locally directly because we just need to get the library ID. So I'm going to click cancel and here's the button where we need to get that ID. So I'm going to copy it. Now it is copied and here I have a script or the commandlet. I'm just pasting it here in the site ID. And this is the commandlet or this is the I have used it before so I'm going to remove that one and now I am going to add this latest copied string and put it into here so this becomes our a complete commandlet for this okay so what this commandlet does is this commandlet is going to convert this ID into the web form or the readable form for Intune to deploy it on the devices, right? So we need to enter that here. So now once we enter that here, you see that error mark was or is gone away, right? So now this policy is ready or the setting configuration is ready for us to deploy. And I'm going to simply click next. And then also uh, there's one thing to show you here quickly before moving ahead right uh, let me go here okay let's go back to the notepad and perfect so now I'm going to copy this one again and I'm going to show you how we can wrap it because it was not wrapped so we need to wrap it first and now this is pasted in this power cell right so we need to wrap it in a readable form for intune to read it and deploy it across the devices so let's make it so now you see it has a readable form right and that is uh, pretty better and easy for us to read and know so now i'm going to copy this one and it should be ready for us to deploy here so now it is going to give us tenant ID. So I'll paste it in the notepad here and I'll show you how it looks like. So it looks like this tenant ID, then site ID here, then web ID here, and along with that list ID. And so it gives us a list ID and then this web URL of that particular site, right? So this way, this is more readable and understandable for us as well as for Intune to be deployed on the user site on the devices. And once this is ready and configured, we should be ready to create this policy and deploy it across. So for now, I'm going to deploy it for all devices. Also, I can target all the users. And if I don't want both of these, I can target it to a specific group that I wanted to be or I wanted to assign only to a specific group instead of applying it for all the devices or all the users across the organization, right? So this way uh, we know what we are targeting or what we are trying to achieve out of this policy, right? So for now, I'm going to just simply all users and all devices and yep, that should be ready for us to deploy. So now this is the policy created for us and we have targeted both the groups Along with that, this policy is enabled and we don't see that configuration here because that's part of this policy configuration and that's it. So let's create this policy. 
and perfect so that's created one uh, let's go ahead and search so that is going to show us here quickly as it is perfect here it is so map SharePoint site to the devices and this is Windows 10 and later and then setting catalog date and time of modification and assign tags so this is the by default one and yep here are other options so from here we can export the file as a JSON as well and we can use that as well right so yeah so this is how we can create a policy to deploy or map the SharePoint site on the endpoints and devices and yep so that is it for this video hope you will like it please do like share and subscribe to the channel and yep thanks for watching bye for now